Okay, so welcome. This is going to be a quick tutorial video on the pivot irrigation system I've made for St. Edward. This is a combination of parts from Espana Mari and, well, there's there's two pivot irrigation systems out there that I've taken parts for. You can see on the itch page for, for credits there. But quick tutorial on how this works. I highly recommend Store Deliveries or Easy Developer. Links to those two mods are in the description. But I've got this spot marked out. And as you can see, this is going to be kind of the center point of where I want to pivot. Um, no matter where you go on the map, there's usually a center point, whether it's the number or sometimes there's actual like like spots marked out, as you can see there. But we're going to just do here for now. So with store deliveries, you can change where equipment is placed once it's purchased. And so with store deliveries, I'm going to line this up about where I want, and then I'm use, going to use the keys in that mod. So it's Shift, Alt, and then Keyboard S. But I want to get it right in that square. I don't think my square is quite centered, but we're just going to put it right there. Once I click all three of those, now if I go to my store, I can select this. It's going to fall in from the sky. And boom. So, not quite perfect. We could live with this, but it's not quite perfect. So what I use to fine tune is you can come up here and with easy dev, you can use the F12 key. So you gotta get really close first, but you then use F12. And you can see it says teleport eight sections. It's talking about the pivot. So where do I wanna teleport this? I am right here and I really don't wanna move it far, but if I wanna move it, just right next to where I'm at and pointed down this line. Oh, and it flipped on me. Well, let's redo that. We want to point it down this line. There we go. So you could play with this and get it perfectly centered, but for the purposes of this, we're going to call it good. So now after we've placed it, we're going to use interactive control and how you set up keybind is going to be on you. But you walk up to this and with interactive control, I can open this panel. <clears throat> uh, to get it running, it's very simple. You hit start the motor and then it doesn't do anything. The engine's just on. If I want water or fertilizer, I click this one right here, water on. So I'm going to click that off for a second, but uh, then I've got my both my movement buttons and my precision farming buttons here. So first, my four movement buttons. You can only move this 100%, as you see in the upper left, 100%, which is a full circle, 50%, half circle, 75%, so going three quarters of the way around, or if you just need to move the pivot out of the way, I put in a 10% and it'll just barely move this pivot out of the way. So on this field, I wouldn't want to go all the way around because there are grain bins and, and other things. Um, and you may even point the pivot like over there, over there, so you can do a three quarter circle and get both of these fields, but it's up to you. So all you do <clears throat> is I'm going to click 100%, but click 100%. And it's going to move slowly but surely. And I can, motor still on, I'll kick my water on. And if you see there, I actually clicked it from automatic rate control to manual rate control for precision farming. Um, I prefer that, but you can do this how you want. And then once it's doing that, you can use these two arrows. One of them is to increase the spray rate, so I'm going to click that several times where you can decrease the spray rate. And that's that's the like fertilizer rate that it'll actually use that it's putting down. So this is gonna save here. I apologize, it should have turned auto save off. But then you can watch, I like to play realistically, so I don't like to get in the pivot if I don't have to. And I need to turn this rate up a lot more because you can just barely see what's going on. I'm going to cheat a little bit just to show you. Yeah, I don't need this right now. Okay, so my rate 
I can go up quite a bit more. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there you go. So now as this goes, I could speed up time, but you get the idea that it's going to go all the way around. Now, last thing, very important. If I want to spin this 100%, that's fine. If I want to spin this, I mean, any of these buttons, fine to use. But if you click one, you have to undo it and let it come back to center before you do another one. So if I let this go all the way around 100%, I have to do the counterclockwise 100% next. If any of these say counterclockwise, that's the one you have to do. Otherwise, if you start hitting this one, then you say, oh, I changed my mind. I want to do this one now. Well, wait, wait, wait. Undo this. Let that pivot return to the home point before you hit any of these other buttons. If you don't, this thing is going to go flying across the map. You'll probably lose it. And you'll have to reset it again. So, oh, there you go. As you can see, I, when I, I really increased the spray rate. So this is going to keep going around. And we could make a nice circle here. But I made this really slow on purpose. Try to make it a little bit realistic. We've got ourselves a nice pivot. Moving across the map, flexing with the terrain. It's going to do its thing. If you notice, two of these towers Is it this one? No. So a couple of these towers don't actually have moving wheels, and I tried to hide those best I could. Um, if you understand modding a little bit, you'll understand how only six components can have moving wheels on them. So I, I tricked the system here and built some collisions and stuff in because this is more than six towers. What I got? One, two, three, four five six seven so eight eight sections eight towers <clears throat> but yeah pivot irrigation fertilizing our field and there you go uh costs and refilling fertilizer and stuff basically i i gave this a ridiculous amount of fertilizer when you start the game when you buy it so you should never Never ever run out of fertilizer. Um, if you do, well, you already has have easy dev. You can you can refill it or something. But um, just didn't take the time. So hope you enjoy this. Hope you enjoy this on Saint Edward when it comes out. And I hope people watch this to reduce the number of questions I get later on.